Hello and welcome to episode 23 of Let's Play GTA San Andreas. And we're ready to do some missions again. Wow, I like this new format. It's really easy to do episodes and I still have some enthusiasm left after two episodes. And it just really goes quickly. So, let's do this mission at um, a ranch of Hijack. No, it's actually not hijacked, but you'll find out who it is hey, right about hey, what now. what the fuck, man? Hey, Torino, I, I told you my bad, man. What the hell can I say? I screwed you Calm up. Calm down, kid. Just go ahead and kill me then. Calm down. Man, you ain't number the fucking Yale dealer anyway, Torino. Shut up and sit down. <laughs> what, you think I'm a drug dealer? And what, you think you're a crusader for good? Do you have any idea what's going on? Any idea whatsoever? Do you? Do you? Nah. I pay as little attention to things as possible. Do not be a fucking smart ass with me. I work for a government agency. It is not important which one. I will try not to confuse you. Yes, when we last met, I was involved in battling threats in Latin America by any means necessary. That does not make me a drug dealer. Now, the money that we raised, the friends that we won over, have helped us immeasurably in our overseas interests. Government agency. Kids like you. You expect heroes. We're fighting a war out there. I'll be a hero and I'll lose. And what do we have? Communism in Ohio. People sharing. Nobody buying stuff. That kind of bullshit. So relax and listen. All right, all right. I'm listening. I know what kind of guy you are. I need a guy like you. To do things I can't get caught doing. Like what? I need you to commandeer a truck. A rival agency with a confused social agenda. They got things that we need. Now this is a two-man job. You'll need a friend. Use your sister's boyfriend, but don't tell him a thing. Remember, I'll be watching. No, not Caesar. He's a good guy. I don't want him to be involved in this shit. Though he probably wants him to I be involved. I got here as fast as I could, CJ. Yeah, you sure did. How you know I needed help? <laughs> Man, you losing it, Holmes. You phoned me a half hour ago. I did? I mean, oh yeah, I did. Sorry, man, I got a whole lot on my mind. Okay, thank you for quick arrival. Jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? Is this the Garver Bridge? We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. I know. And now you do with the dodge. And now you do with the dodge. What's the, the plan? I'm gonna pull alongside, and you gonna hop aboard. Oh shit! You didn't mention that on the phone. It'll be a walk in the park. Tell Kendall I love her. As you can see, San Andreas uh, finds, well, There's a rig up ahead. puts on appropriate music for the mission. And this is about uh, the same topic, basically. I'm not gonna explain. If you don't get it, well, you're just not smart enough, I guess. What? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Just a little closer, Holmes. What are you doing? The truck speed. Speed up, CJ. Keep level, CJ. Keep level. Just jump. Thank you. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, no more music because I probably already have a copyright strike in it. Thank you, Caesar. Why should we take this car to the garage? Okay. Okay, CJ, let's get this rig back to the garage. Not sure why our garage should have this, but I uh, guess why not? Alright, here we are.
I, I'm not sure you can squeeze that in in there. Oh, yeah. No, you can probably, yeah. Oh, well. So, let's move on to the next episode. Actually, not, not episode, next mission is what I meant to tell. But let's get the phone call, what I was also trying to say. Here, now. Don't screw around. What an asshole. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry. Alright, I hope the cops don't see me now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Every single fucking time. Ah, oh, okay. Never mind that. Can I get on the bridge right here? Uh, let's try. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, the answer is no. Oh, by the way, just for the fun of it, for the hell of it, whatever you want to call that, I'm gonna go up this bridge. Small adjustments. Small adjustments. Fuck. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, apparently that did not work as I planned it to. It. Okay, it is. No! Okay, I'm good. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing embarrassing just happened. Wish I had a different bike though. Something that was able to go up there. Even though I was going at the top speed, it hardly isn't good enough apparently. Okay, back at the Torino's house. No more monster truck, which is a disappointment. But now there is my gang's car, I guess. Alright. Look, it, it's a better day now that I have slept in the shed. Anyway. Uh, let's see what's going on. Roger that, big monkey. I got a 13.6 fat vulture. Need to acquire a drowning baby. Over. What? In 15 by the fat moon. Break your heart. Over and out. Carl, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do you a proper injury, man. What you knowing about my brother? <laughs> Relax. He's in prison upstate. D-wing. Cell 13. To the left, I got a child killer who wants to rip his throat out. To the right of him, I got a white supremacist. Who wants to eat his heart, to be precise. Now don't worry. Tenpenny and Pulaski are really relatively benign. Unless, of course, you're a family member of Officer Pendleberry, whom they shot when he threatened to expose them. But you do know all about that, right? <laughs> Damn! Hey, man, how you know all this stuff, man? And won't you stop it? You just don't understand, do you, kid? Look, it's all white knights and heroes. We have to make decisions, kid. You know, I try to set bad people on other bad people, and sometimes I let good guys die. He's your brother, but to me, he's just collateral. It's a very delicate decision. Over here, you got all the scumbags inside the country, and over here you got all the scumbags outside the country. And me and my colleagues, we're the fucking pivot. Keep the government in work. Which reminds me, come here, okay? I need you to head over here in the buggy outside, okay? Okay, let off a flare. We got some precious cargo needs collected. Hey, hold up. What about my brother and all that shit you was talking hey, about? Hey, don't worry. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kid have been murdered. Everything's under control. We'll talk later. Now, come on, get out of here. Thank you, Torino. Or if that is your real name, probably not. Oh, a buggy. Okay, so this is not a buggy. I was lied to by myself, and I am disappointed. What, what, what's going on here? What the fuck? Run! No! Wait, what? Don't kill her, you fucking asshole. Run! Thank you. I guess. I know, I don't know why I said thank you. She was supposed to say thank you to me. But it's fine, I guess. I'm just your everyday hero that doesn't get appreciated, goddammit. Thank you. 
again. Alright, finally I'm gonna get the buggy. I was promised. Jesus, what took you? Torino, where you at? Miles away. No time for niceties, kid. Choose a vehicle, grab the equipment I provided, get to that drop zone, and wait for that package. Uh, no. Oh, RPG? Okay. I don't mind that. I guess I'll take the buggy. Even though it's, uh, probably the most, uh, unstable of the three. Or not. Uh, or it's the most, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's the most, uh, stiff. That's what I wanted to say. Stiff. Yes. So, I have to wait for the package here, I guess. Or is it? I have to, I had to set up a flare first, okay. That's our cargo, arriving now. Jesus, will you stop doing that? Nope. Uh, you lost something. Hold up. Never mind, he's got the back. Shit, got trouble. Two agency choppers coming in on an intercept. Can you see them? Yeah. Shoot them down. Protect the cargo at all costs. Oh, great. I'm glad I have not got the homing missile or whatever. One down. Hope it doesn't fall on me. No, miss. How do I keep missing? Wow! Almost hit that one. Could you stop exploding, please? Thank you. Ah, damn it. So close. Come on! Ah, would have been such a great shot. Why do I keep missing, goddammit? Okay, that did it. But there was another one. Yeah, just dropped off in the random place. Never mind. Ah, great. How to shoot? You got a problem with me having this? Uh, I already have. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Oh, there's RPG here. Great. Yes. Hello. How are you, good sir? Um. Ah, oh, there's my buggy. Thank you for dropping by, sir. It's all good though. Wait, how did you get there? There is no road there. Did you just fly up? Or did the game just spawn you there because I had no vision of that place? It's probably this second one, isn't it? Damn you, game. Damn you. I'm just gonna jump over here. Hello. Okay. Okay, get the package back to Las Brujas. Where are you? You giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching or listening or both. Why is this car here? Go away, car. Okay. Oh, that was a mistake. Fuck's sake. Why do I do these things, huh? <sighs> Where? Oh, this? Okay. Okay, okay. One thousand dollars for that mission? What? What the fuck? I'm losing my muscle. Anyways, that's two missions, I guess. So, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play GTA San Andreas. And I hope to see you next time. I'm as always Herbis, so goodbye!